welcome back to another episode of Bob Montego. And uh, if you haven't yet done so, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and tell someone about my, my videos. Um, let me first apologize. It's a very windy day, but I, um, I I just so love doing videos outside that I I can't really resist it. And um, so let me apologize for the wind if I if I'm sometimes not very audible. Um, today I want to talk about the large number of men. Um, the growing number of men uh, every year dying of heart attack and strokes and uh, the fact that many are dying during or after sex all right and uh, this means that there's something going on between um, you know the the, the, the the idea of having certain diseases and um, and whether or not you're healthy for sex all right so um, sometime between 35 and about 50 um, a lot of a lot of men, we're talking about men today, a lot of men who develop um, high blood pressure, um, sometimes referred to as hypertension. And um, that is where the, there's, a, there's a, a struggle for the heart to push blood through the veins because uh, there's either blockage or there's uh, some other thing inhibiting the free flow of blood. So it builds up a pressure in the veins. And what oftentimes happens is that there's a, a popping of very tiny um, blood vessels called capillaries. Those that can't withstand the pressure of the, the, the most, um, they pop. And many of those um, tiny clip, uh, capillaries are in our eyes or in our kidneys or the organs. And uh, of course, some of them are in the male genitalia. And when they do pop, they do um, create a disruption of the blood flow that is required to achieve um, uh, uh, an erection in men and so uh, it becomes necessary to take a medication to treat a condition that now develops from that called erectile um, dysfunction now the blood as I indicated before the blood pressure itself can lead to erectile dysfunction the popping of the, the best the blood vessels the capillaries that is dis disrupting the blood supply to create an erection um, or the medication itself, which is um, taken to, uh, it's prescribed to reduce the, the, uh, the, the blood flow, to reduce the blood pressure buildup in the body. That too can cause um, the erectile dysfunction. And so, of course, many, um, uh, a large amount of men around the world, in fact, I saw one study that shows that 70% uh, of men who take uh, blood pressure medication will either stop or change their medication um, every year up to 70 percent and so many make the fatal mistake of stopping their medication um, you know and uh, all together because they'd much rather uh, I guess you know have uh, the, 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 the virality to have erection and um, you know and they've become frustrated and now stop their medication the problem is though many men in addition to their blood pressure medication are taking um, erectile dysfunction medication all right or some sort of uh, um, um, performance enhancement um, uh, substances like maybe uh, another type of drug or maybe they have some sort of herb they take or um, uh, you know uh, or all, all different manner of um, uh, you know holistic therapies that they're trying now this can create a real problem because you are taking a blood pressure medication but you're also taking an erectile dysfunction medication or some sort of performance enhancement substances and then when you stop that blood pressure medication out of frustration that is causing you erectile dysfunction but you are continuing your erectile dysfunction medication or those performance enhancement stuff that makes for a very bad combination and so that's a fatal situation that um, leads um, to, um, many to having um, strokes and heart attack during or after sex a large number of men um, every year I've known I do know men who that who have um, succumbed uh, to strokes or heart attack because of that situation all right and so my suggestion to a lot of men is that look um, 
many of us will end up with a high blood pressure. Women too, but we're talking about men today. Many of us will end up with high blood pressure. And so when you have high blood pressure, you can manage it properly, safely, by um, regularly visiting your doctor, following your, your, your doctor's instruction, but also changing your lifestyle, um, changing your diet, your activities or lack of activities or you know maybe shedding some weight increasing your exercise eating um, much more responsibly and stuff like that but um, for many even with those changes those lifestyle changes you will struggle um, with the blood pressure and so it will be necessary for us to take different medications um, to actually deal with that situation and I, re I really want to tell men um, be careful when you're stopping medication without a doctor's instruction or a doctor's supervision. Many have succumbed to strokes and heart attack by switching over to stuff like garlic. Did you hear me? Or boiling certain leaves or stuff like that. I'm going to tell you this. Garlic is wonderful. It's a very good and healthy food. But it must be um, understood that you are taking garlic as part of a healthy diet, not as a replacement for your medication or a replacement for your doctor's supervision, because this has led many to be disfigured and disabled uh, with strokes or actually die, actually die. I know, I know um, of people who have actually died replacing or neglecting to take their blood pressure medication um, because of uh, the fear that is going to be erectile dysfunction all right so uh, let me appeal to men again it is very dangerous to stop your medication without your doctor's um, 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 advice or supervision and, and replace it with some sort of enhanced um, some sort of performance enhancement stuff Th those combinations will kill men and it has been killing a lot of men around the world um, every year and it's because of embarrassment why a lot of people don't talk about that but even on TV or in the music industry, a lot of um, popular guys you'll hear die, they, they're found dead. And the, uh, the, 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 the police have evidence that they were having um, a sexual um, intercourse, but you see no partner around. Everybody, they abandon their partner the minute they see that they're either struggling or dying because they don't want the, uh, the, the bad publicity. Yeah, so it does happen. So be mindful. Uh, if, if you have uh, developed um, high blood pressure, which is um, likely to happen somewhere between after 35 and 50, um, please remember, follow your doctor's instruction, take your medication, and if you decide that you want to get off your medication, make that, that very strong life, uh, lifestyle change with the supervision of your doctor, right, to see if you can wean yourself off, but with the supervision of your doctor. Don't go replacing because you heard on the internet that garlic or, or this medication or that herb or this thing will, will take you off. Do not do that. Follow your doctor's instruction. Live well, live healthy, live safe. Thanks for watching Bob Montego and please again remember to like, share, subscribe and tell someone about my videos. Hope I've given you um, some very useful information. Thanks again for watching.